And hello everyone, uh, here's a little video I've pieced together of about 20 hours of footage um, of me drawing some pieces for members of Peter's Doodle Club. I think there's 10 drawings here, um, they're just all kind of squished together end to end, and then you can see all the drawings at the end, um, and uh, the, su the supporters I drew them for at the end. Um, so thank you, thank you sincerely to all of them. Um, I'm not really sure how I'll go about this as maybe more people join the club um, and it becomes more drawings I do per month, but eh, it seems to be working mildly at the moment. But anyways, um, I will do a little, uh, like a little recap. I'll add like another video in a, in a little bit, like a little, uh, like a recap of the vlogs I've been adding to the Peter's Doodle Club on the Patreon page or whatever. I'll add that in a little bit, but... Anyways, anyways, yeah. So anyways, it's good, been a good month. July, my favorite month of the year. Uh, but J July has always been my favorite month, partly because um, I've never had any school in July. Thankfully, I've never been one of those people uh, that had summer school. Um, I always felt sorry for, for people who did. Um, you know, there are always some people who, like, failed some school, you know, some class or something, and had to take some summer school classes. Um, in order to, uh, you know, continue on in the next grade. But then I, I entered college um, briefly, and some people willingly subjected themselves to, to summer school, I noticed, which was always bizarre to me. Anyway, I like July because, uh, you know, some school extends into June, and some school, um, depending on, you know, the time and place and type of school, starts uh, as early as August. Um, but you rarely see regular school that starts or happens in July. And also, uh, my birthday is in July, so that's good. And I've always liked that my birthday is evenly placed out um, in the middle of the year, kind of halfway, um, you know, apart from Christmas, you know. So, I mean, my family has never been big on gifts anyways, uh, you know. So, like, my parents, I don't really get, like, a lot of gifts, but the gifts I do get are like uh evenly spaced out you know like so i get like one gift in the middle of the year and one gift at the end of the year uh so uh i don't i always feel bad for also for people you know speaking of feeling bad for people who get all their gifts you know if someone is born at, on like december 20th and then they have christmas like they get all their gifts at, at one you know within one week and then what about the rest of the year they just they just got to they get nothing for the rest of the year. Maybe they should. Maybe they should save up their. They should tell people that don't give me gifts on my birthday. Give me gifts on my half birthday. That might be better. Or maybe just tell people they were born some other time. I don't know. It's worth thinking about. I think. Uh, anyways, yeah. I know. I. Uh, I haven't posted a video. It's a little. It's always a little weird when I don't post a video. And like, apparently, someone on Instagram told me I didn't. I haven't posted a video in two weeks. And they said. Why haven't you posted a video in two weeks? I probably didn't respond in the best way possible. Um, I, I, I hadn't really realized that I hadn't posted a video in two weeks because de I've definitely been busy. I've been working on stuff for one week. Uh, I did go away. Um, I visited the, that camp I used to live and work at, and I helped them out with some stuff for a week. Kind of like I hung out, I worked. I made them like a little highlight reel video of, you know, like, uh, I, like, recorded everything that was happening, and I, uh, kind of, like, made them, I, like, recorded and edited, and at the end of the week, I, like, showed them, a like, made, like, a, I don't really know how to explain it, made, like, a highlight reel to show the end of the week, and everyone watched it, and it was cool. Um, anyway, so that, like, took up a whole week, and then I guess before that, I didn't release a video. Anyways, I don't have a video releasing schedule, and I like it that way. Yeah. Yeah. I think I do. Even if you guys don't. Anyways, when people say things like, why haven't you released a video? They're probably just like, Peter, I want you to re release, I like it when you release videos, but for some reason I take it in like a weird accusatory fashion and I get all, of, I get all defensive and uh, I shouldn't, I really shouldn't. Anyways, yeah, but it's been a good month. It's been uh, hot. I uh, moved here. This is my first summer, which I have lived in Wilmington. And I don't think some of the actual temperatures are that much hotter than Chicago, where I moved from 
but uh, the temperatures, like these hot days, um, they go on for so much longer. And when you step outside, it's just so much muggier and you just feel sticky immediately. It's kind of like Florida where I lived before I moved to Chicago. So I don't know. I kind of kind of need to find some sweet spot, you know, like somewhere where it's not incredibly freezing cold in the winter like it is in Chicago, but also some t somewhere where it's not uh, sticky, swelteringly hot in the summers and you don't just feel disgusting when you go outside. I don't know. Yeah, there's got to be places like that. And I don't want it to be weirdly tropical. I don't know. I feel like I don't want it to be too warm. I don't need it to be hot because when you get to weird hot places like this, there's more insects, and I really don't like insects. And I don't need it to be too hot because I'm not even out. I'm not even outside that much. I'm I'm good with like 55 to 60 degrees max. I I wish. Is, are there places where it never gets below 40 and never above 60? Is that possible? Like ever? Like are there places that never vary at all? I don't know. I don't know. Maybe not. Maybe that's not possible. Anyways, that's all for today. I hope you could hear me over my uh, neighbors trounce, tromping, tr stumbling around upstairs. And uh, yeah, thanks for thanks for watching. And thank you to all my uh, Peter's Peter's Doodle Club supporters. You're all amazing. Thank you. Thank you. I love I love all of you though. I really do. I really do. Good.